Good morning, guys. Well, it's early in the morning, about 6.15. The sun's just starting to come up. And uh, I gotta feed these ducks before I go to the airport. And uh, yeah, I, I get questions about the duck. So we're gonna go get, get, let them out of the pen at the back of the yard here. And the reason why they're in the pen this time of year is because less food for the foxes to eat and they will go after the ducks um, this time of year, um, especially since the, um, the pond is full and the, you know, the waterfall is going pretty quick. So uh, I put them away every night so they're safe and then I let them out in the morning. So it's almost like having uh, dogs, 19 of them. So uh, I'm gonna take a walk up to the back of the yard here. And I'm sorry it's dark, you won't be able to see too much. Um, it is early. And maybe it'll come out a little better on the video. But as you can see, they're, they're <laughs> flipping out because they see me and they want to eat and they want to come out of the cage, uh, obviously. So we're going to let them all out. And there they are. And then just let them out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> And they'll all follow me down. And then they're gonna go to their food spot down here, which is down here. You might not be able to see too much because it is a little dark out. The camera doesn't do any justice. Come on. I'm going to put the food here. And then let them eat. So, today is I'm going to fly to Moira Aviation, get a couple of things done this morning early. And then from there, flying to lunch somewhere, not sure quite yet. Um, so that's on the agenda today. It's 28 degrees at my house. Uh, typically when I go down the hill off the mountain here, it's five degrees warmer. We're supposed to go up into the closer to the 60s today. So we'll get a, hopefully it gets a little bit warmer today, but those are the ducks. That's how they're fed. And they'll hang out in the pond the rest of the day until I get home. And then uh, put them away again at about 7, 7 o'clock at night. I typically put them away and then early in the morning I let them out um, so they don't get eaten by the foxes. See you guys in the plane. Dine on Skyview. Mount Pocono, uh, Mike Papa Oscar. I'm gonna put it in here, KMPO, okay, and I'm gonna enter that, enter at activated. And uh, getting a oil change done, a couple other odds and ends to take care of today. Uh, and I didn't see Kurt in a while, so I'm gonna go say hi to Kurt, Moyer Aviation. Um, so let's look at the weather in Orange County. Let's see what's going on, winds will come. One, zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus zero three Celsius. Dew point minus zero three Celsius. Altimeter three zero four three. Remarks. Density altitude minus two thousand two hundred. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. One two two four Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility. Hey, winds are calm. We're going to use two two. And 
Alright, so we're gonna go and we'll use a uh, 2 2. A nice day to fly. I uh, don't know what I'm gonna do after Boyer. Uh, get lunch somewhere. Uh, we'll stick around and. Where we go. So I'm gonna go in the back up here and I'm gonna put in the uh, altimeter. A barometer. Then we got a plus. It's uh, 3043. 043. Back, enter, that's there. Okay, 55 nautical miles. Uh, so basically, we're going uh, MPO 55.4 nautical miles, 27 minutes. Uh, once we get higher, it will go down time. And we're going to bug uh, the altitude. We're going to go up to 45. And uh, that's good there. We've got the barometer set. And then our track is going to be 259. Again, I'm kind of going to mess with this stuff so I can get used to it when the autopilot comes into play, hopefully early next year. So this time of year, and uh, it's not the summertime, but mostly this time of year right now, like a lot of hot air balloons. County up. traffic, good morning. Helicopter November 19, Fox Parting out to the west southwest. We'll call Clear Road County. We're going to um, watch for the hot air balloons. And those helicopters are dropping some lines in the area, so there's a lot of heli two, two helicopters in Orange County right now just putting lines down for electrical. Okay, checklist time. Right back, you guys. Okay, checklist is complete. We'll put that down here. And I, you know what, I forgot to show you right away, but um, now it's all plugged in and you get a lot of heat out of those plugs. Cylinders are wrapped, the pan has is, is got the pad on it, so it stays pretty warm when it's plugged in and covered. And I didn't show you right away, but maybe I can go back in the tape and see it. But it's already out of the yellow um, in the oil temperature. Uh, so that's good, because uh, when it's really cold out, and it's not plugged in, I mean, it's going to take a while for it to get up there in temperature. That's what I like about plugging it in. And we're going to get flight following. We'll talk to them today, see how they're doing. And let's put in the frequencies. Um, the information, Pocono, actually it's probably already in the history. Yep, there it is, MPO, let's go to comms, let's make sure I have everything right. So the ASOS, AWAS, what do you want to call it? 120 to 27 for the weather. We'll put that over here and then um, Unicom is 227 2.7. That's in there. We have we we'll have flight following, we have Orange County. We're good to go. All right. And Orange County traffic anyway, I short base of final for 22. It's clear right. Got a hot air balloon. About miles about Orange County traffic helicopter 19 Fox Fox. Hit it out. To the west. We copy that, sir. We have a Mooney departing 2 2, and our heading is out towards the west as also. We'll keep an eye out for you. Unless you're in the trees, you ain't got nothing to worry about because I'm only about 200 AGL going out to work on a power line. Awesome. Have fun. <laughs> I try. Have a good day. You too, pal. Thanks. Orange County traffic. Mooney taking 2 2 for departure, departing out to the west, Orange County. It's an awesome job. It's got to be an awesome job. Uh, dangerous, I would imagine, getting loaded to trees, you know, wires, platforms. Okay, so gas is on, light, land lights on, strobes are on, we're trim for, ta uh, trim for takeoff at 15% uh, percent flaps, fuel pumps on. Uh, I said that already. Um, and we're trim for takeoff. Everything's full forward. We have mixture is where I want it. And carpet is in, and we're good to go. All right, let's roll. Okay, full power's in, right rudder. 60 already, and 70 rotate. Get that gear up. That gear's up and locked. Oh man, is she climbing? All right, flaps can come up, trim down a little bit. 1,200 feet per minute, about. 1,200 to 1,000. And Orange County traffic, uh, we need a partner pattern to the west, climbing through uh, 1,000. See you later. All right, we can pull the power back.
Looking good. Flaps are up. Gear is up. Fuel pump is coming off. Fuel pressure is good. Pull the mixture out a little bit. All right, we're going to go up to 4,500. Tell you, they, they climb like crazy in the cold weather. Outside temperature on the Dynon sky view is 40 degrees outside air temperature Fahrenheit. So it's pretty crisp this morning, and they climb. All right, display over this side. We'll go full face north. Check out traffic. A little wind, cornering headwind coming out of 209. 24. New York, good morning, uh, Mooney, 6887 November request. November 6887 November, New York. Good morning, sir. Just opened the part of Orange County, climbing through 3,000 for 4,500, requesting flight following to Mount Pocono, Mike, Papa, Oscar. Mooney, 87 November, Squawk, uh, 4235, I done. Four two three five in a box ident. Nova Mar Zero Mike Tango, contact McGuire approach one two six point four seven. Mooney eight seven November radar contact four miles southwest of Orange County, three thousand five hundred maintain VFR, Stuart Altimeter three zero four four. Three zero four four maintain VFR for eight remember, thank you. Severe VFR. Delta 2058, contact New York Center Reminders that have come in, a 500 feet reminder. Approaching altitude. The land lake can come off. Southwest 3787, New York departure, call and maintain 17,000, direct park. Two Lima, New York approach, altimeter 3044. 3044, 7 Lima. All right, little level off. Southwest 3343, contact New York Center 125.32. All right, that's good enough. Let's get that highway in the sky going here. Perfect. The line 331, Follow contact that. approach 120.8. decimal eight. Looking good. It is hot here now. That's basically it. We got flight following. We got all the maps going. Uh, we got the highway in the sky going. The sky view HDX, which is really cool setup here, as you guys know. We're moving along. Everything looks a little tighter with you. Got the, so I got a. Long sleeve shirt on, I have this jacket on, Harley, Harley Davidson jacket. Um, so it gets a little tighter in the wintertime, everything on you. The heat pretty much works pretty good in here, and uh, it has an, uh, a lot of insulation. 
um, in this airplane that was updated to previous owner. We got just almost a headwind. 281, we're going 259.28. So we got, we got a little bit of a headwind. Ground speed's 136. We got true airspeed 162. Southwest 3787, contact New York Center 125.32. At 23 minutes. See how fast that goes down once you get level? You can pull that mixture back a little more. Break your 5616, New York departure. Good morning. 287 November contact, Wilkes Bar approach 120.905. 20905, 8 November. Good day, thank you. Send with Charlie, contact Harrisburg approach 124.1. 124.1, Charlie. Approach, good morning. Uh, Mooney, 8 November is with you, 4,500, going to Mount Pocono. November 6, 887, November, Wilkesbury approach, Wilkesbury altimeter 3038. 388, November, thank you. Okay, looking good. Everything's in the green. So we go to menu. Flight 1326, turn right direct tank clock, I'm missing 10,000. Uh, we've, uh, we've been running now for 16 minutes. We're in the air for eight minutes right now. Um, we've used 2.2 .2 gallons. We got 40 gallons, 40.5 gallons on board. And we got plenty of fuel or range down here is 446 miles I could probably go. I'm doing that today. <laughs> Beautiful day. Some haze. That's nice about this display. It gives you a lot of information that you, you can rely on. Um, you still want to obviously use your, your hours and make sure you have enough reserve. You don't want to go by this 100%, but it's a very good indication of how much fuel you have on board. Sensors in the tank, you know, depending on what you're doing, it will waver, um, but that's okay. I go to display, I go to full. I got the map on this side, got the VFR map going right now, no TFRs today. All the election stuff is done. So, um, all the candidates are finally at home. Everything's looking good. Really nice system I have. I, I, I just really enjoy this system and the setup. And, uh, you know, the questions that you get, uh, folks, is, you know, is it worth the money? It is, absolutely. Absolutely. It's making it your airplane, making it safe for you to fly, a lot of spatial aware awareness um, for your safety. And flight 1326, contact New York Center, 132.17. Been saving for three years to get something, and this the Dynon really came through, so I like it a lot. The autopilots are going right here, folks. The autopilot going right here, and I'll show you that looks like right now. That's what's going to look like, and it's going to go right here with the hard keys. And like I have the hard keys here, um, and but I can also change things on the screen. And I'm going to have the the capability to change things with the autopilot on the screen if I want to. The hard keys are really easy to, to use, and it's right there. Well, and that's how I wanted this display to look. It just flows nicely. You know, I don't have the autopilot down here hanging. I don't have the engine monitoring over here. You know, I don't have the backups down here. Um, I don't have the transponder hanging from below the the the, uh, the panel. It's I want everything right here at my fingertips. Um, so it's just easier for me to, to worry about and, and look at and scan really quickly. All the engine monitoring is right down here, easy to look at. Back up. Well, Ferry, uh, 183 Bravo X-ray. So we're all looking really healthy. 
Number 183, Bravo X-ray, Wilkes-Barre, approach Wilkes-Barre, Altimus 18 minutes, 36 miles. 2039. I don't think I, I can get the ATIS yet over there. Let's see, listen. No, too far out. It's all mountains over there. She flies good. Once you get her trimmed, um, there's not a crazy wind. Yeah, she'll fly straight and level. No, and you can use her rudder to help you. Right now, I'm using the rudder to turn a little bit. And like I said, the, the ailerons and the rudder can, three bravo, actually, are connected. 5, what does that 5, mean? 5, when you turn, the rudder also moves a little bit. And so it's a really nice, smooth turn that this airplane makes because of that function. Uh, and it's, again, it's another thing they thought of over 50 years ago and then some, you know. New airplanes today, the majority of the time, what changes is the cockpit change. The seats are different, the, the, the panels are all different, um, but the, the philosophy of flying is all the same. So your, you know, skins are the same, leading edges are the same, you might get a bigger horsepower engine. Other than that, the aerodynamics pretty much stay the same in an airplane. The only things change is the cockpit and, uh, you know, uh, technology, uh, which is this. Looking good. I'm going to go uh, get some things, some oil change done. The annual is due in April, I think. And hopefully by then the autopilot would be available. And why it's an annual, um, I'll have that done. And then hopefully Oshkosh, uh, this plane will be going and hopefully the autopilot will be here. Uh, that would be awesome. Looking good so far. 32 miles. Hopefully all the cameras are working. Uh, someone said, uh, you know, once you use the controller to get them all lined up. The problem I have with the controller, this camera is a little bit crooked, but uh, is that it keeps it sometimes disconnects on a camera and I lose. So that's why I'm always looking to make sure everything is going because if you don't pay attention to that, and I'm sure other uh, people would agree that you lose everything when you go to edit stuff. It's like, oh my god, I lost all my stuff on one camera, and it looks stupid. So you end, up, you end up scrapping almost the whole thing. And, you know, I, I take this life um, accomplishments and excitement and uh, goals, and I want to put it out there to other people. So they can see, if you work a little bit harder, you do a little bit more for yourself, help your community, help others, you know, you're not going to be overlooked in getting your goals and your dreams, and it might take you to work a couple jobs, whatever it takes. If you have it in you, do it. One thing this country gives you, uh, well, it gives you a lot, but is one of, is the thing is opportunity. Opportunity is big and key. So uh, hopefully, you know, this helps everybody out to understand that, but it does take a lot of time uh, to edit, uh, especially now today I have two, three, four, five, six cameras going and it takes a long time. And sometimes I say to myself, why do I have so many cameras? I'm just trying to give you guys the, the most angles as I can, um, but every camera you have and every hour you do, it's about an hour per camera, 40 minutes, 45 minutes per camera, times that by six. An hour video is going to take me, you know, 30 minutes to 45 minute video, depending on how far I go. Bravo, it takes four hours, four and a half hours to edit everything, and then you got to add music and add a couple of different things, make it sound good and do things a little different. The emails I get, folks, I tell you, I thank you so much for that, um, and I appreciate the great comments, social media, Facebook, um, Instagram. You know, over 18,000 followers on Facebook as of this morning, uh, approaching 19,000. Um, I'm going to hit 1,000 probably in a month on Instagram, which I just started doing that. So thank you. Uh, moving along here. Those comments keep me going. I appreciate it. And thank you so much. We're following the highway in the sky. Let's see if this camera's working. It is. So highway in the sky is on, working. Now once I have the autopilot in, it will really keep it drilled in to, you know, straighten right down through the boxes like you're playing a video game. 2-4, sir, we're going to start approved. Uh, remain on my coat to the ground. You guys have a great day. 
your first, and come and get it. You're probably saying, what does that do for you? Well, if you're an IMC, I mean, it's another option that you could use uh, to get yourself a little more comfortable where you're going and kind of follow that along the way. When you're an IMC, you're on your own instruments only. So it's nice to have, again, another backup to help you uh, figure out where you're doing, where you're at, and follow that guidance. And that's all it is, it's a guidance. So we're 25 nautical miles out. We're going to go down to 3,500. And approach uh, Mooney, 8th of November, requesting 3,500. 8th of November, out to you, discretion. Point of discretion, yes, sir. 8th of November, thank you. Okay, 3,500. So now I'll put that down in the bucket, go down, go downhill here. And uh, highway disguise below us. So we're just going to capture that. We're gonna pull the uh, PMs back a little bit. This plane bookies, man. I don't know what it is. And a couple of other C Booney uh, Range uh, Booney Ranger folks uh, tell me that this is sort of a, a, seems like a, a fast C model. Um, and sometimes they feel like I have a 200 horsepower engine in it, but I don't. 790 shows 1010,000 with Victor. A beach dead uh, 790 will spare approach. We'll go to the visit approach. This, this airplane four. is heavily maintained. Runway 4, sure, sure. All right, we're looking good. We're going downhill. Uh, we're going to get down to 3,500. Get out the uh, uh, traffic pattern altitude. You go to information. Well, the elevation is 1915. So round it up to 2,000. At 1,000, your traffic pattern altitude is 3,000 feet. We'll go to 3,500, and we'll have 500 more to go to get to pattern altitude. Here is VFR. Uh, number 316. We'll probably use 2-3. Start landing at uh, Welcome to Plan Runway 4. Thanks. Left downwind at 2-3. Zero two zero to maintain four thousand. Four thousand, sure, sure. Aircraft three thousand five hundred, almost. And one six and one. What's that aircraft for you? Six hours up here, thirty two. Okay, twenty nautical miles to go. I'm good right about here for now. It is beautiful out to fly, folks. It's not hot and humid. Nice and cool and crisp. They keep that little heater in the back running. Oh, I guess it's calling me Pat. Let's see if I get reception to answer it. Hello? Are you flying? I am in the air going to Mount Pocono. Nice. I'm almost at I'm almost at Orange County. Okay, you drove. Obviously, you drove there. Yeah. Could I could have picked you up this morning and flown you there? No, I mean, I'm going to. I I have flight training. Zero, zero, zero. So okay. I'll, be there, I'll be at Traffic, I'll be at uh, Orange County all down day. Down I have a session from the last one. Looking. Sure, and sure. Okay. I did a better one, one at, uh, one, one, two, at, zero, at three. So I'll yell, be there all day. One, two, zero, sure. hey, why are you yelling again? Uh, I, I want you to know. If, I want you to uh, tell me if they started on my plane. I'll, I'll go there and check it out for you. I'm, 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 I'm almost. I'm almost there now. Oh, okay. Right, but my plane Okay. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. I don't know why Pat always has to be yelling. All right, let's go down to 3,000. I know we'll wait a little bit, a few more minutes here. Actually, at the airport in sight, we could cancel. Activation, one, two, Sorry, five, that was loud. One, Zulu, wind.
Yeah, you're good. Zero zero zero. I went to the back to space off the left side. You can fly heading on one zero zero. One zero zero, sure, sure. And Lear, three Bravo X, are you contact nice people in New York approach? One three two point seven five. Good day. Thirty two seventy five. Bravo. And approach uh, Nuni eight seven November airport in sight, sir. Seven November, Roger, Radio Star Saturday, free change, free man, like put together on the ground. You guys have a great day. Great day, you too. Thank you, sir. 8, 7 November. Okay, we're done with him. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Yes. Dew point minus zero one. Let's listen to what we got. Take down to 3,000. It's slower down. It's going to come up quick on us. 8, 6, 1, 2, 3, 2, down with 3, 4, 8, 6, 1, 2. Okay, we're looking good. I get some bumps down low. The land lights are going to come on now. We're getting close to the airport. We're about 12 and a half out. Pulling that inches back nice and easy. Outside temperature is 51 now. Outside air temperature. I don't know what time it is. Uh, hey, I'm on time. Yep, on time, perfect. I tell you, when I was so used to that Grumman, I flew for a long time. Uh, the AA1A, awesome plane, by the way. Uh, it'll take places much longer to get to. I only had 100, I, 106 horsepower. Um, and this plane just gets places so quicker. When I was first learning how to fly this, I was like, oh my god, I, I can't control myself to slow down in the pattern. That's how crazy it's going. Alright, we'll use 2 3. I don't think there's any procedures that can help me to, for vectors now, so we'll just have to do it visually. I was going to try to mess with that, but it's alright. We're about ten, uh, nine and a half miles out. And about the traffic, uh, Mooney, 8, 7 November, about uh, nine miles out to the east to be inbound for the 2 3. Uh, 2 2.7, and we have 2.7. Make sure that's correct. So Pat's planes here too, and my other friend's planes here. Uh, so that I had a couple on it for him. I'm gonna stay right here, 2,900. Okay, traffic be advised. We got right side helicopter. We're on the uh... altimeter 3038. Remarks: Density altitude 500. Mount uh, Pocono, Pocono Mountains Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation, one, two, five, six, Zulu. Wind calm, visibility one, zero. Sky condition clear, temperature zero, four Celsius. Dew point zero, zero Celsius. Altimeter three, zero, three, eight. Remarks, density altitude. All right. Hey, Mount Pocono traffic, uh, Mooney is now five miles out to the east in Valpo two, three, Mount Pocono.
gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, and watch our speed, seat belts are on, we got full flaps in, we're looking good to go on two, three. Nice. Here's down. And Mount Pocono traffic. Uni short final. Two three. Mount Pocono full stop. Okay, looking good. Leaving altitude. Now it's a, almost a, a exact headwind here. In the mountains, it's really, I don't even know, half the time it changes so quickly in the mountains here. Approaching minimums. Right, one more check. We're looking good across the board. Here, check. Good. Minimums. Take it. All right, we made it to Mount Pocono. Make a U-turn here. Make sure coming out. Put the mini flaps up. So, not a bad flight. Pretty easy. Uh, but not that. I think it's to see what the flight was. Um, our time was 33 minutes, so half an hour about. Not Pocono traffic, many back taxing 2 3 to more aviation. Not Pocono. Not bad. Pretty good. Use 6.2 gallons. Alrighty. Hey, folks, well, we are here at more aviation, gonna hang out here, get some stuff done with the airplane. Um, thank you so much for flying along with me. I, I appreciate it. And if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. That makes me happy. <laughs> Map up for trap, but it clear all the lights. Map up. Like always, folks, fly safe, be safe. Remember, always try to strive to hit your dream goals. Okay, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.